Hey girls and boys, in this video we are going to talk about five simple and free web design exercises that are very efficient if you want to practice and improve your web design skills. These exercises are also good for when you want to learn web design from scratch, because you know what? Great web designers do not become that way because of some inborn ability or skill, but because of hard work and practice and sweat and tears. Yes, tears, tears, yes. And these five exercises are a great way to either expand your web design skills or a great way to actually get your feet wet in web design and see if you like it or not and if it's something that you could be doing for 50 hours per week for the rest of your life. Hello, my name is Gabi. I'm a web designer and developer with 20 years of experience and this is what I'm doing on my channel. I'm sharing this experience and I'm teaching others how to create websites, how to get started in web design and how to have a successful freelance business. If this is something you're interested in learning, please hit that subscribe button and like this video so I know to make more like this. Okay, now let's begin. Okay, exercise number one is something that's being recommended on a lot of design blogs and that is to Take a design you like and recreate it from scratch or from zero in, in a design software of your choice like Adobe XD or, or Figma. You can browse design repositories like Dribble or Behance or even ThemeForest. I like ThemeForest because it contains website designs from the real world that, that actually sell. And in these design repositories, you find a design you like. For example, I, I found this one now, Landio, created by Webtrend. And this is a landing page that I think it looks really good. Now you screenshot the design and then import it in the tool of your choice. For me, it's the free Adobe XD. And then you start to you create a new artboard and you start to copy. I'm sorry, copy is a dirty word. I mean, you start to recreate that design from scratch. There's an incredible amount of detail that goes in, into a good design and the purpose of this exercise is to make you pay attention to small things that you would not notice otherwise. Details like uh, shadows and font pairings and subtle patterns and white space, these are all so little and yet th uh, they are the uh, stuff that make or break a design. And also feel free to explore how this design would look like without those rounded corners or with this font instead of that and so on. A good design is created by trial and error. You try out different stuff, different combinations and see what works and what doesn't. You don't have to be an artist. You don't even have to have a particular design sense. You just try and try stuff until it works. In, in the famous words of some of my clients, you'll know what you like when you see it in front of your eyes. And although everybody can take benefits from this exercise, it is best suited for complete beginners in web design because it brings the most amount of real world learning. Okay, now exercise number two is good for beginners, but also for when you already know a bit of design and you want to explore other design styles. This exercise consists in taking a design you like, maybe even the design you created at the previous exercise, and starting to remove elements from it. The point of this exercise is to try and create a minimalism, minimalist design and to figure out at what point the minimalism becomes too minimal. <laughs> Don't forget the point of a good website design is to enhance the content you have on it because content is king here, not the design. So play with different elements, remove some of them and try to make the content stand out. Remo remove things like shadows, like rounded corners, because text, photos and videos, these are the actual content. This is what matters on the page. The only function of other elements is to get people to consume the actual content. So we'd better make it easy for them to do just that. Exercise number three is to create a redesign concept for one famous company. This exercise is best suited for when you want to learn, but also when you want to create an awesome new item for your portfolio. It consists in choosing a famous brand like Spotify or PayPal or Amazon, one of these guys, you get the idea, and creating a redesign concept for them. You probably won't get paid for it because, well, it's uh, like unsolicited, unsolicited work, 
but because it's a famous company that everybody has heard of, you'll certainly draw some attention on your portfolio from the web design community and the clients alike. In a redesign concept, you start off by defining a problem. Analyze the website of the company you chose for the redesign concept and take notes of what you see, what annoys you as a user and what you as a designer could do better. Read about the history of the company and analyze past website designs. Inform yourself about their target audience and try to create a buyer persona for them. These are all useful sub-exercises and the point here is to understand in depth how you can improve their current website design to achieve a certain purpose. And if you want to gain an even bigger experience, take all the data you've collected for this redesign concept and create an user experience case study or an UX case study. Such a UX case study is basically the redesign concept story told in form of text and images and the objective here is to showcase your design and problem solving skills. I won't go into more detail regarding the redesign concept and the UX case study, but there are plenty of examples and step-by-step -step tutorial on, tutorials on the internet, and I'll link to a couple of such resources in the description below. Exercise number four. This is good for beginners and advanced web designers alike, and the best part is that what you create here, you will be able to use in, in your future designs. This exercise consists in taking a single element and recreating it over and over again using different styles. Take for example a call to action button or a pricing table or maybe a contact form. Here is an example of me creating a call to action button in different styles. For example here is as a simple button with an icon in front of the text, with solid color, with a gradient, with dual color, with a shadow, with only the border with a glassy effect and in new morphism style. This exercise keeps your creative juices flowing and it's a good practice for when you only have 30 minutes per day to improve your skills. This way you get to explore different styles, different ideas without having to actually create a whole page. And you know what? Since now I have all these awesome buttons already created, I'm going to upload them on Invato Elements so people can download them. And each time someone downloads my stuff, I get a small commission and thus I make passive income. Okay, since these are simple buttons, the commission won't be much, but even a single dollar that's being earned passively, it's a good dollar since I don't have to invest any more of my own time to earn it. If you want to learn more about such strategies on how to make money online as a web designer, you can download my free ebook and you will find a link for, for that in the description below. Exercise number five, create a mood board. This exercise is great for beginners who want to learn, but it's also something that professionals use to organize different ideas and to get inspiration for creating a website. The idea here is to screenshot designs you like and to paste them in an empty board, like, like a Figma board, for example, and take notes about the, thing, the things you like in that design and also about the things that can be improved. I like to browse design repositories each day to find inspiration. Dribble is my favorite, but there's also very good stuff on Behance, on ThemeForest and even on Instagram and Pinterest. On ThemeForest, I can find designs that actually sell. They are not just design concepts, so, so that's nice because uh, I know these designs were already voted by the uh, general audience, by the people using their own wallets, so to speak. So you can use a free software like Figma, and that's what I'm using here, or you can find online apps that are designed particularly for this purpose, for creating a mood board. You can create a general a general inspiration board like I'm doing here or you can create a board for each project you're working on like a wedding website inspiration board or a fitness app inspiration board the, the possibilities are endless 
Okay, these were the exercises that you can use um, to practice and improve your web design skills. If you are interested in this domain, uh, web design, don't forget to grab my free ebook, 17 Ways to Make Money Online as a Web Designer. It's a book uh, full of uh, useful resources and maybe uh, it will help you in launching and uh, growing your web design business. Thanks for watching and see you next time.